I'm going to show you how to scan any object and turn it into a 3D model. And this process will be so simple that it'll only take you a few minutes. If you build websites like I do, then you could use this to create 3D mockups of your products, which is way cooler than just having a few pictures. It's called Gaussian splatting. The technology behind it used to be complicated, requiring a lot of cameras to capture scenes almost like a Matrix movie. These days, however, you can just use your own phone, take 20 photos, and you can have a 3D model in no time. As an example, I recreated myself at the park, allowing me to control the camera, the angle, the zoom, almost like a drone or inside of a video game. I could create close-up models of myself in 3D as well. Then I can import these models into a website, which I'll show you later in this video, allowing me to create a dynamic website that has interactive elements of whatever 3D model I want on the page, which is awesome. But before we start that, let me quickly explain what a Gaussian is. Traditionally, 3D scenes are rendered with triangles that make up polygons. Gaussian splatting uses Gaussians. It has a position, covariance, color, and alpha. And once you have a few million of these, you can accurately recreate a 3D scene. This is done by taking lots of photos at different angles and link up different pixels in their positions based on other photos and their related depth. The result is a photo like this turning into a map of Gaussians that then gets recreated as a 3D object like this. Let's make one right now. Step one is taking some photos. Here's a really cool gaming keyboard. What I'm doing here is taking photos all the way around the keyboard so that I can capture all the angles. This includes taking photos from the bottom as well as the top. Some of these can be close while others can also be further away. The trick is to take at least 20 photos but up to 100 or 200 so that you can create a good model from the Gaussian splatting. There are apps that help in this process. One is called Luma AI. Available on the App Store, you can use it to capture models easier. It does this by providing an AR overlay. I can then select and confirm the object I'm trying to capture and its shape and size. It provides recommendations of what sort of photos I should take with this purple line that I fill in with a blue confirmation photos as I go around the object. While I could do these photos manually, kind of how I was before, this method provides a much more detailed representation that can be used for the Gaussian splatting. Then heading back to the Luma website, I can head over to captures. Since I use the app, I can immediately get to see the keyboard that I created a capture of, as well as the Gaussian splatting it has generated. And of course, I can export this entire scene or object to be used in other applications, which I'll be doing in Spline Design shortly. If you're just using your own camera without the app, you can also manually upload all the images, essentially compressing them as a zip file and then selecting to upload them in this section. One more website which is great for creating Gaussian splats is Polycam. Just like Luma AI, you can upload your own photos to generate one of these models. And there are some really cool examples that have been created by other users. The process is pretty much the same. On their website, create a 3D Gaussian splat and select to upload the photos that you want to use as part of generating it. Then on the dashboard, you can preview all the different types of splats you've created. One mistake I did make though, was trying to use my expensive SLR camera, which has bokeh or background blur. This actually causes a lot of errors, basically not allowing Gaussian splatting to occur properly. So make sure that you use your phone or a high aperture setting on your your camera. Once you're happy with the results, you can select to download the Gaussian splat so that we can use in the next part of this video to create a website. Simply select download and select to use the splat PLY file. Then head over to Spline. Spline Design is a website that lets you import models and then use them for websites. On the top right hand side, select import and then select to import a Gaussian splat. I'm importing the one I generated on Polycam. Be aware that it can start off looking a little bit confusing. First, you'll want to change the camera, focusing on the object that we're looking at, in this case, the keyboard. Next, on the right hand side, under crop areas, select box and select apply cropping. This will help create a focus on just the 3D object without the background scene coming into focus. Finally, update the size 
of the sphere so that it's just covering the object in case anything else like a desk or a table is in the way as well. This 3D Gaussian splat model is now ready for export. On the top right, select export and then on the left menu, select to run the code snippet here, which allows the spline design model to be imported to any type of website. In this case, I'll be using Wix Studio. I like it because it just lets me get a website up and running in no time. Let me prepare a quick simple page here for the keyboard with a two column design where I can have the text on the right hand side for the keyboard itself and the spline design 3D Gaussian splat on the left hand side inside of an iframe, which basically will hold the code or the script for it. I'll select update here and you'll see it pop into existence immediately. And this is ready. I'm going to select to publish and you can see now this interactive 3D Gaussian splat is available already on this simple page. But let me make it more interesting. On the spline design page, I can hide the background for the keyboard and this allows me to now overlay it on top of any other content I might have. I'll update the iframe to take up the entire page section so that it can exist at the very bottom of the layers with the text being on top of it. I'll add a description to it here as a paragraph. So this could be a short description of the keyboard itself. I'll also center everything and I think I'll also add a button so that people can select to purchase this keyboard if they wanted to. I love the styling for this button to have a background color of white with a text of black so that it stands out more in terms of its contrast. And that's it. Now I can preview this entire page and now the user can actually interact with the keyboard in the background, zooming in, zooming out, rotating it and much more, but it is a static 3D model. I can add animation and make it more interesting in a few different ways. Here's one example from Spline Design that's pre-made and you can remix utilizing your own content in here. It's animated and it also has this cool glass shard. I'm gonna copy paste my keyboard into this design, getting rid of the face and then overlay it, increasing its size a little bit and making some adjustments. This now I can actually use and is already pre-made to move as well as work with the mouse of a user to add this real cool glass morphism effect. These are the basics for creating a 3D website using Gaussian splatting. But if you wanna learn more, let me know in the comments below. I'll add links in the description to all these tools.